Good morning the community, to the community of Liberty and to Liberty North High School. It's my pleasure and honor today to uh, be here to kind of begin the proceedings of introducing our new head football coach to all of you, Mr. Greg Jones. Mr. Cornell is going to talk to you in a little bit about all of uh, the information about Mr. Jones to help enlighten you and help you understand uh, what a fine man and a fine coach we have hired here at, at Liberty North and have had the opportunity to, to bring to the, to, uh, the North family. The, uh, the difficult part about making a transition from one coach to another has to do with the hearts and the minds of the young people that they coach. And uh, Coach Jones has already met with uh, in football players that are interested in playing football this fall, and I'm sure there'll be more joining them as we go through the next few months. But this program is, is more than just playing uh, some downs on, on Friday nights and working out in the afternoon. It's, it's about reaching young people's hearts and minds to help them grow and develop into uh, young men and, and young adults and young women that uh, want to participate in this program to the highest level that they can and find things within themselves that they may not have found uh, outside of this, this type of program. And that's the biggest reason why we, we have the program here. And we've uh, been fortunate, very fortunate, to have uh, Coach Jones join us. And I'm going to turn the, the podium over now to uh, Mr. Cornell, who's going to talk to us about Coach Jones. Good morning, North Nation. It's a great day to be an Eagle, and even better to make the announcement that Coach Greg Jones will be our next head football coach. Coach Jones is a Northwest Missouri State graduate. He's a Bearcat for those Bearcat fans out there. He uh, coached at other schools in the community in the Kansas City area and last stop at Kearney. His, his resume is unbelievable. It's off the charts. It's great for all of us. He's 171 and 45. He has 10 district titles to his credit, nine conference titles to his credit, been to the state championship game three times, winning two. So he brings a lot of success with him and he brings a lot of energy and excitement to the Liberty North football program. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Coach Greg Jones, our new football coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Hello. Um, glad to be here. Excited to get started. It's been a uh, long couple of weeks. Um, but now that we're here, uh, just like we met with the players a little bit ago, uh, hopefully next week we'll be off and running and uh, getting things headed for next year. So questions? Uh, first question, can you describe your coaching style? Uh, high energy. Um, I, you know, it's like I told the players and same thing I told the coaches when we met this morning. <clears throat> Work way too hard to get to play one game a week on Friday night, so I guarantee you we're going to have fun. What did you discuss with the team this morning when you met with them? Uh, we talked about the, um, the values that we're going to represent ourselves and, and this uh, high school and this community with, and then we also talked about our philosophies uh, of what the foundation of this program will be ran on and built on. Uh, building off of what Coach Clemens and his staff has already started. This question is for Dr. J. What will be Coach Jones's teaching assignment? He'll be our weight training coach. He'll basically replace Coach Clemens in the classroom. Uh, coach, uh, you've had a lot of success at Kearney. What motivated you to come to Liberty North? Well, there's a, you know, we, same thing I tell everyone that when you make a decision throughout life, the same thing we talk to our players about, you know, you, you got to bring in the, your faith, your family, and, and then football is last. So uh, going down through that, it's a great move for me and my family. Um, I think that my daughter, who's a freshman, is going to be a sophomore, will be ecstatic to be here. I think she, you know, she's got a lot of friends here already that's on the cheer team. So she's excited. Uh, for me personally, uh, as a football coach, I look at it, the ultimate challenge is uh, you coming in here, uh, the chance of moving to 6A in a few years uh, to build on that. And, you know, let's be honest, it's time for win, uh, Liberty, the community of Liberty to win a state championship in football. For being a part of the Liberty, on, Liberty North football program since my eighth grade year, what will I be able to see in changes as a football player? Well, number one, the same thing, um, I don't know if you were in the meeting this morning, is that A, you're going to see that the staff that we put together is about the players first um, and the relationships that we built and how we work together. Winning will be a byproduct of that, but number one, my main objective is, is that when you walk out of here, you're a better man than you are today. 
Uh, Coach, chemistry is a huge part of any team, no matter what sport or whatever you're doing. Um, how do you plan on building chemistry with the players coming in as a new coach? Well, you know, it's the same thing I told them, that uh, trust and respect is earned. It's not given. So it'll be an, a, a, I will have to earn that, uh, but it'll be a thing that we're going to go from day one because I'm a firm believer in the same thing. The culture of your football program will outplay and, and win more games than an offense or defensive scheme. So it's just the, the bond that we will build with the players amongst them, themselves, and them and this coaching staff, knowing that we care about them. Uh, it's going to be fun to do, and then it's going to be fun to watch. Five years from now, what do you expect the Liberty North football program to look like? Um, I, number one is a, a program that the community and this school, um, that the players, teachers, parents are all proud to say that they're part of. Uh, number two is that it needs to look um, different than it looks when I walk in here, because if it doesn't, then I haven't done a very good job. In addition to football, you had great success with a powerlifting club that won several national titles. Will you look to be implementing something like that here? You bet, because I, um, I think that and that's a lot of the meetings that we had were, were about the weight training programs <laughs> and the curriculum, uh, because I think that there's not a football strength, there's not a baseball strength, there's not a basketball strength. Or there's, str there's strength and there's conditioning and there's athletes that are powerful. So bringing that all together where that weight room helps every single sport at this high school, that's, that's a priority of mine also. Coach, what is your plan for hiring assistants? It's a uh, be step by step. You know, I met with the assistants this morning. They know that, uh, that they are wanted here, that they're part of this. Um, and it, it, we'll see who stays and it, they know that they're welcomed. And, the spots that open, it'll be, you know, meeting with people and bringing people in, number one. The always the number one question is, is do you care about kids? Uh, we want, got, we want coaches here that care about kids first, and then we'll worry about football second, or actually third, because like I've talked to Dr. Jacobs, if they're not a good teacher, they're not a good football coach. Because coaching is teaching, you're just teaching a different, different subject. What can the North Nation faithful expect the next few years from the football program? Um, step by step of improvement and uh, hopefully you the things that you'll be able to see right off the bat is a team that is excited to be on the field on Friday nights a uh, group of young men they're having fun doing what they're doing and they've worked extremely hard and and they play hard for their community their school and each other what kind of traditions or characteristics are you going to be adding to the team um you know we we will start a leadership council uh, with the players this off season um, with the help of the coaches that are here now, but, and we'll talk about that, about the traditions that they want to make sure that doesn't change because it's been here from day one. Um, they respect for that and Coach Clemens and what he's done. And, and then I'll share um, my views of some things that we'll like to do um, that may be a little different and that we can build on. Uh, you've been with Carney for 11 years um, and knowing that they're Liberty North's rival, what are your emotions? Uh, that's a great question. You, you had to go there, didn't you? Um, I told my wife this this morning walking out. Um, yesterday was very, very painful and, and heart-tugging um, when you got to look at uh, kids that's played for you and you got to tell them goodbye. And then you wake up this morning and, you know, you put on a blue shirt for the first time in many, many years. And uh, you head down here and you got the excitement of what could be. And, um, you know, the, the thing that I expressed to those players, it be hopefully is the same thing that Coach Kim Clemens expressed to his players when he walked out is, hey, he still loves y'all. I still love them. Um, you have that relationship. This is a new challenge in my life. This is a new step, a chapter in my life. And uh, I'm looking forward to building those relationships here and, and going again. And, and hopefully when I walk away from here, it'll be tears in my eyes again. <laughs> Is there some strengths of the football team that you already see that you want to build off of? Um, you know, the fortunate of playing y'all every year for several years is, um, you know, you got kids that play hard just like they do um, up in Kearney, and, and that will be what we build off of is just hard those kids that fly around and, and play hard and have fun. I mean, and then get in here and recruit these hallways because I'm sure there's kids walking the hallways that should be playing that aren't playing. What will be your academic expectations for our student athletes and how will you support student athletes that may be struggling? That's a good question because the number one thing I pointed out this morning to the players is academics are number one. Because um, when you're an athlete at some point in time during all of our careers, 
whether you're blessed to go to college or maybe even blessed to go to the next level, at some point in time in your career of being an athlete's over and those shoes are going to go in the trash can, then it's what do you know? So academics will be number one. We'll run uh, weekly grade checks um, and make sure that we're keeping our, the grades up because if they are a good enough athlete to go play at college, they better have the grades to get them in there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, like I said, it's, just, it's great to be here. Uh, it's going to be a whirlwind spring, and then um, hopefully when you show up for the first game next year in the fall against Staley, uh, you see a difference. <laughs>